It's not a bird if you don't add those crazy feathers. Enjoy the intro and let's start. Hello everyone, Phoenixo here and welcome to another video of a multi-part series in which I'm gonna show you the whole process that brought me from the default cube till the animation you just saw. In this video we are gonna add down and flight feathers. Let's start with the down ones. We are gonna use particle system to do so. Let's add a particle system to the object and select air as type. Reduce the length to something that doesn't seem like crazy wires going all over around the bird. Check Advanced and check B-Spline under the Render Path section. Now go to the Children section and choose Interpolated Mode. Adjust again the length if needed. Before going ahead setting the things up, switch to Particle Edit Mode. Choose the Tip Selection Mode and start combing the particle in the right direction. Look at the reference to get the correct directions. I'm gonna add a vertex group called feathers, to which I'm gonna assign all the vertices where feathers are gonna be. So basically I'm gonna skip only the beak, the eyes and the pose portions of the mesh. And then add the feathers vertex group you created to the density field. Back in the properties, increase the diameter to about 10. Set the clamp to 1 and check the correct amounts of children. You can just verify the correct amount for the viewport and then decrease it to improve the viewport performance. As I'm clamping the particle, some unexpected behavior happens, as you can see between the eyes. To fix these unexpected behaviors, it's gonna be needed to cut the particles in the portion of the mesh where I don't want them to be. Once you're happy with the down feathers, let's start working on the flight ones. Create a new collection called Feathers. Let's add a cube and, as usual, add a mirror modifier. Simply drag a few vertices around to get the correct shape and dimension of the feather. If needed, add also a subdivision surface modifier.
unwrap the feather and place the islands in the middle of the UV editor. As already done in the past few videos of the series, in the shader editor add a gradient texture and a color ramp. Play a bit with the mapping vector and with the color stop to get a nice blended color. If needed, change the environment color to better see what you are doing. Once you are happy with the shade of the feather, let's add a particle system to this object. Select only the faces on both the sides of the feather. Create a vertex group and assign them to it. Add this vertex group to the density field of the properties menu. Cut the particle you don't need and come the other ones to get this awesome feather shape. And by the way, it's always cool to look at. Once you are happy with this feather, press Shift D on your keyboard to duplicate it and start placing it where you need. Using the proportional editing tool, drag a few vertices around to get the shape you want. Repeat this process as many times as you need along the wings and the tail. I'm gonna add two feathers on the top of the head, four for each wing and three on the tail. And during the rigging phase, you are gonna understand why. The last but not the least, I'm gonna add two special feathers that are gonna remind the ones on the tail of the mythological phoenix. The modeling phase is pretty much the same, but I'm gonna create this bigger part at the end of the feather. Back in the shader editor, I'm gonna duplicate the material I used for the other flight feathers. And I'm gonna add a few other nodes to get that elliptical sunny yellow color in the middle of the feather. Add a particle system and play in the particles edit mode and you are done. Duplicate the feather as many times as you need and place them at the end of the tail or wherever you like. And finally we are done. 
the journey continues in the next video in which we are gonna rig the character. We are gonna use Rigify for the main part of the character and later we are gonna customize the armature with a few other bones. Thank you for watching, if you like this video please don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you will still be part of this journey and in that case, see ya!